In today's video, we'll be looking at all of the aspects from Grand Theft Auto 4 that will return in GTA 6. We'll look at all the details we know from the 2022 leaks. This includes new mechanics, physics details, random encounters and activities, weapon sound details, and more. But before we get into it, a friendly reminder, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button, leave a like on the video. Most of my viewers are not subscribed. We are on the road to 20,000 subscribers. We're almost at 12,000. Your support is sincerely appreciated thank you so much for all the nice comments and support and on the discord server if you haven't joined yet you can find the link in the description thank you to all the people who've joined and also a special thanks to all the members of the channel relamore nick the bala mike the nerd eddie the bullet armin the one i am vlad 66 sham god jd rajveer and fnm fago thank you for the continued support it truly means a lot if you guys like what i do and would like to support the channel further you can also become a member but let's get into it with with the first detail from the 2022 leaks. Weapons sound better and louder than from GTA 5. In the Hank's Waffles robbery clip, we can see Lucia shoot an NPC and the weapon sounds louder and more akin to GTA 4 than 5. It became clear that Rockstar has been working on the sound design as all weapons now sound much more realistic. If you listen to the weapons from GTA 4, you will notice that they sound much louder than those in GTA 5. We also know that some of the weapons from GTA 4 will return such as the baseball bat, rocket launcher, knife, molotov, cocktail, carbine rifle, assault rifles, M16 and AK-47, the micro SMG and the pump action shotgun. A much needed improvement there but moving on to the next feature returning from GTA 4, tweaked euphoria physics can be seen when enemies fall or the player jumps down and ragdolls. Technically GTA 4 was the first Rockstar title to feature Euphoria physics, it is one of the aspects that still keeps the game fun to this day. How body parts respond accurately to bullets and pressure from outside objects is incredible. There are many videos out there on the Euphoria engine on why it is one of the industry's greatest and most fun engines. Rockstar has seemingly adjusted the physics again as they now look closer to how they were implemented in GTA 4 and RDR 2. I have no doubt the physics in the game will be so much fun it'll keep it alive for a long time just like GTA 4's. But moving on to a random encounter from the leaked events list. We have cop arrest encounter. Like in GTA 4 maybe you can see the cops arresting certain NPCs. Now in case you haven't played GTA 4, as you're exploring the world random NPCs would get arrested on the street. This event could also be forced. Additionally some NPCs would also get shot if carrying a firearm. And that's such a cool event I'm glad it's coming back and I hope it can be activated in any location at any time. That's one of the things I hope to see more of random events in the open world. But let's move on to the next two events. Elderly Favor Hungry North Miami and South Miami. Maybe you can give food or money to homeless people, similar to GTA 4 where you can give money to homeless NPCs. Now I'll show you how this works in GTA 4. You have to walk around and look for a homeless NPC. They spawn randomly around the map and when you get closer they will walk walk towards you and ask you for money. Of course, we don't have information on whether this event will work similarly, however, it's still a fun addition. Now, the next feature is perhaps the one I'm most excited about. Picking up items. Beer bottles and cans seen in one clip, pickable car part box seen in another clip, and also pickable hat is seen in another clip. Now, in the clip with Lucia in the Jack of Cards nightclub, one of the NPCs drops a can on the ground. A prompt indicates that the X button is used for picking up items. In GTA 4, you have to press the left bumper of the controller to pick up items such as bricks, cups, cameras, phones, etc. You could also throw these items. So it should work similarly in GTA 6, but if we look at the leaked controller layout, which contains all the controls from the 2022 leaks, it says the triangle will be used for picking up items. As in one of the clips, Jason can be seen picking up an assault rifle that's on the ground with triangle. But a fan favorite activity from GTA 
GTA 4 will return in GTA 6 Bowling, as Bowling Alley can be found in the leaked events list. In addition, a location for a dead animal raccoon is for Gilhorn fans slash bowling. Bowling is undoubtedly one, if not the most iconic activity in the Grand Theft Auto series. And I cannot wait to see it return in GTA 6, I wonder if the controls will be similar to those in GTA 4. But the next aspect of GTA 6 that'll see a major improvement is the vehicle damage and handling. We are all familiar with how realistic the vehicle deformation was in GTA 4 and from the leaks we know that the damage and handling in GTA 6 will be improved as in one of the videos with Lucia driving on the highway, the car crashes seem to be more impactful with more parts like the front fender splitting apart and the hood bending realistically. You can also see spark particles at the impact with the edge of the bridge. Another highly anticipated returning mechanic from GTA 4 also present in RDR2 is crouching. From the leaked controller layout we know that by pressing L3 we will be able to enter crouch position. Now I'd like to list some features that I would like to see return in GTA 6 from GTA 4. I would love to see the expanded parkour elements such as the ability to grab onto a ledge, hang from the side of a building, on a fence etc. Rockstar absolutely nailed that in GTA 4 and it significantly improved gameplay and made on foot exploration so much more interesting and engaging. I'd love to see Rockstar add an extra layer to the parkour as GTA 5 felt like it suffered a significant downgrade in that aspect. Moreover, I would love to see more enterable buildings. We know of the rumor that 70% of the buildings will be enterable. However, it seems like Rockstar may be going in a different direction with the interior generation pattern that we looked at in a previous video. Here's a recap by Skater. Thank you so much to him. Basically, Rockstar patented a method to automatically generate interiors and environments in general based on keywords to reduce what type of location that shall be in game. Now, there is a range of parameters which allows the developers to control the interiors. For example, to control an optional rug appearing or not, to control the number of tins appearing on a shelf or the degree of dirtiness on a door. Options which we have not seen in previous Grand Theft Auto installments in Grand Theft Auto 4. However, we had a wide range of interiors such as food chains, bars, theaters, random residential buildings, car dealerships that could all be accessed freely. The new AI patent will play a significant role in the generation of interiors of rooms in residential buildings, hotels, etc. But I would love to see a lot of custom interiors be freely accessible and interactive. For example, burger shots that allow us to buy food from them. Lastly, I would love to see street vendors return. In GTA 4, street vendors selling hot dogs, hamburgers and nuts can be found throughout the city and I hope they return in GTA 6 as they weren't present in GTA 5. But let me know what you think of all the aspects we discussed in the comment section down below. Do you have any features from GTA 4 you would like to see return? If you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. Subscribe to the channel for more GTA 6 videos like this one. Join the Discord server from the link in the description if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.